It's a beautiful, beautiful horse. Temperament, five out of 10. Did they put that on the ad, the five out of 10? And what's that rating scale on? What's going on GQ, it's Post Malone, and today I'm going on a shopping spree. Let's check out some accessories. Givenchy black horn cap, 1,085 bucks. Paneled cotton canvas cap in black. Say that three times fast. Cotton canvas cap, cotton canvas cap. That's hard. Horn appliques at Crown. I think they sent me one of these, but it was red. I really appreciate a good applique. Vetements X Oakley Shield sunglasses, 790 bucks. Shield style acetate frame, sunglasses in black, tonal rubberized trim throughout. Single mirrored lens in silver tone with 100% UV protection. Where's the cutoff of UV protection to where you just can't see? I think they look sick. These are sick. Clint Orms Hidalgo, 1800 Bronc Rider Trophy Buckle, $17,110. Sterling Silver Center Dome. I'm a sucker for a Sterling Silver Center Dome. Features a 14 karat yellow gold bronc rider on the center dome. Made and engraved by hand in Texas by Clint Orms Engravers and Silversmiths. This is a fantastic belt buckle. I'd prefer a, a rectangular belt buckle, but the Silver Center Dome is just incredible. I'm, I'm always in a, in a belt buckle need. You can never have too many. A lot of the work, like I remember I went to Cheyenne and they were doing the rodeo there and I got a belt buckle from there and that's like the coolest thing ever and I'm like scared to wear it because I'm just terrible with belts because I'll just get, they're always too tight because I'm a little tubby and so I take them off and I'll like tuck it over in the corner somewhere and I'm terrible at losing them so I'm scared to wear it. Fish slippers, $21.99. That's a lot of money. I actually own these. I didn't know they were that much. Yeah, I do. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I think it's gotta be the shield sunglasses. I think those are the coolest things. Yeah, I got the hat in red. Thank you, Givenchy. That's very sweet and, and pretty bitchin' thing. The fish slippers, maybe I'll wear them all together though. I have the fish slippers, I have the hat, I got the sunglasses, I have belt buckles. Not like Clint Orms though. But yeah, if that was more rectangular, it'd have to be the Clint Orms. Let's check out some vintage memorabilia. What, this is cool. <laughs> this is cool. Dave Mustaine's personally owned number one Megadeth signed guitar. 32,304. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to own the personal tour use custom V guitar of legendary platinum selling Grammy winning guitar god, Dave Mustaine of Megadeth. This thing is so cool. Uh, Dave Mustaine is like the sweetest dude and he can really get down. I think this is a reasonable price. I don't know how you play a uh, Flying V because usually I play guitar uh, couched. I don't know how you play a Flying V couch. You have to kind of do like this cool pose that I'm not cool enough to do. So you like put it like in between and then you're like in the wing. Doesn't work. But I guess like standing up it makes sense because he plays it standing up and he really plays it. He's just also a good guitar player, which I am not. 1996 Dallas Cowboys signed helmet. $6,227, also a very specific number. Super Bowl champs team signed game model helmet with a Beckett letter of authenticity. Words are hard. I wonder if it's signed by the entire team. If so, I think that's pretty neat. It's a model helmet. If only if it was like one of like the, the real deal helmets, that would be pretty, pretty epic. This is a beta edition Black Lotus, $42,000. Look at that, nice round number. That's an easy number. There's no 49s or 62s. Adds three mana of any single color of your choice to your mana pool, then is discarded. Tapping this artifact can be played as an interrupt. I think it's a good price for this. I mean, this is the most busted card in Magic the Gathering. I'm not a nerd. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I just built a no-ban 
a no band deck list for Commander with Leovold. And I put one of these in there and all the mocks in there and I'm so pumped and I can't wait to piss my friends off. I have one of these, it's an artist proof signed by Chris Rush and it's really, it's super, it's super sick. So you got alpha, beta, and then unlimited. But like, the alpha ones are super rounded so you can always tell if it's an alpha card. Oh yeah. The betas are usually, it's just so hard because there's not so many alphas, especially Black Lotus, like in good condition. So a lot of them are like super slabbed and then they're worth a lot of money. I was in the bidding for one of these ones for like 550,000 for an alpha one. It was nine five. The Cowboys helmet is awesome. I got a lot of boys on the team now and my house has too much cowboy stuff in it already. It's gotta be the, uh. but see, you know, how can a magic card be more than the Megadeth guitar? I get it. I, I get it completely. I spent too much money on those things. I'll do the Dave Mustaine guitar. Sorry, Lotus. I gotta go with my gut. Let's check out some sweet rides. 1968 Ford Bronco, $65,000. Custom bumpers, tow winch, spotlights, bar lights, upgraded the starter. I know what that means. <laughs> Uh, lift kit, new paint, and it also comes with a bikini top. I think this car is super badass. I'm actually, I'm building a Bronco right now. I love the old, like the new Broncos, they did a good job with, but the old ones like 68, you know, like the 70s, like they're just so, so pretty. Dolan Tandem Track Bike, 1915. The Dolan TDT Tandem Track Bite is cut for speed. This is so cool, and I love the term in tandem. This does definitely look, it's built for speed, cut for speed. This is um, exactly what you want if you want to ride a bike with your boy um, or, your, or your wife or anybody, you know? Do they have one of those drinking bikes wherever you sit? in like the square and drink and everybody's just pedaling. Do they have any of those built for speed? Because that's something I'm very interested in. White Andalusian Stallion. Did I say that right? Andalusian Stallion, $16,000. Height, 17. What's HH? Weight in pounds, 1,400. Temperament, five out of 10. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful, beautiful horse. Did they put that on the ad? The five out of 10? And what's that rating scale on? Because I don't know what HH is. 17. Oh, hand, that's how you measure horses? Oh. Whose hands though? Whose hands? Shaq's hands? Because so, that's a huge horse. Temperament, what's the temperament rating on? Five kilojoules out of 10 in the temperament. I think that's a beautiful horse. I don't know, I have to meet it, meet them, and um, see what that five out of 10 is actually about. Private Jet 2019 Cessna Citation. That's a badass name for a jet. Cause if you get a Citation in a private jet, that's like probably the coolest fucking thing of all time. $9.8 million. Immaculate, no damage history, featuring the extremely rare to find lightning fast 4.8 hardware and software upgrades. I don't really like airplanes. This is cool. If, if you get a ticket in your private jet, that's probably one of the coolest things of all time. But um, yeah, I'm scared of flying. The horse is beautiful. Temperament five out of 10, I'm not sure though. Definitely not the plane. I am too tubby to ride the bike. I'm gonna have to go with the thing that it's gonna be most practical for me. That's gonna be the 1968 Bronco. Oh yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Show me some real estate. Lights Castle, Estonia. $2,696,156. The property presents 16 bedrooms, an exquisite courtyard, state-of-the-art conference rooms, a stunning roof terrace with a bar, and a large sauna facility. I have done one show in Estonia and it is so beautiful. We ran around and we went to this haunted place and started looking around. We had a great time, but this house is crazy. 16 bedrooms. I like having a bunch of space to run around because I have a lot of shit. Blackout curtains, that's the most important thing. If the house doesn't have them, I'll put them in, but that's like the most important thing. That's my biggest creature comfort because 
I'm not very good at waking up at, with the sun. It drives me nuts. And I get hot. 16 bedrooms, it sounds really nice. That, I'm not looking for 16, but if it has 16, I think that's pretty cool. Doheny Road, Beverly Hills, California. $15,995,000. Luxury and tranquility meet in this captivating reimagined single story sanctuary. Whoa! The alliteration and the tongue twisters. Ooh, single story st sanctuary situated behind private gardens on a sprawling over half, half acre? Half acre? Lush flat lot in one of Beverly Hills most exclusive enclaves. Masterfully reconstructed with an open and balanced modern design. Four bedrooms, four bathrooms. That's insane. I can't believe they said over half acre. It's nice. I, you know, I feel the same because I'm staying in LA for a little minute now and the spot's actually huge. Like, and I was so surprised, but in LA you get such little tiny spots. So like half acre, they're like, this is fucking insane. Like, what do we do with all this space? There's so much room for activities and stuff. But I don't know. I think it's pretty. I just think a lot of those four bedrooms as in Estonia, you get 16 bedrooms, 16 million bucks. Bailey, Colorado, $11,500,000. Deer Creek Valley Ranch and its majestic 165 acres of idyllic Colorado living is the ultimate mountain getaway with the convenience of being less than an hour from Denver. This one of a kind property boasts outstanding mountain views sweeping meadows, abundant wildlife, riding trails, and Deer Creek flowing year round with extensive water rights included. Eight bedrooms and a five plus car garage. My girl would absolutely hate it, but it's awesome. She, I, I was trying to, I was looking at all these houses and there's so much like property in like Wyoming and stuff, but they're all like super log cabin-y and she hates it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is cool, this is badass. You got saddles on the seat, that's cool. Like she would like the Doheny house, yeah, but not that, I like this one, but she doesn't like this one. But this is gorgeous, and you get the water rights. I think this is very nice. Rhinebeck, New York, $8,931,016. 5,000 square feet of living space on 40 acres of land, fully furnished. Built in 2020, it combines top-of-the-line design, finishes, modern technology with a warm country vibe. Five bedrooms, four bathrooms. This is really nice. Rhinebeck is very pretty. This is very pretty. A little bit more modern for her. For her. We're both buying this, it's not just me. But how many late acres did it say? 40 acres? For eight, nine, mm, that's a lot of money. Ah, Estonian castle in a heartbeat, I think. I think that's the move here. I would love that. The castle of lights. I wonder how old it is. Does it say how old it is? It was first mentioned in 1219. What? Oh, that's definitely haunted. We're gonna do this one. I like this one. Yeah, this is the winner here. Thanks everybody for watching me spend this money. I'll see you next time.